Let's talk about dying declarations. No? Dying declarations, o yung tinatawag nating rest, just stay. Ang general rule is, hindi pwedeng i-admit sa evidence ang chismis or the so-called hearsay rule. If you testify, if you file a complaint, dapat meron kang personal knowledge doon sa crime that was committed. And if you, you just present hearsay evidence, then it is inadmissible as evidence in court. A dying declaration, however, is an exception to the hearsay rule. Normally, hindi nga pwede ang chismis. No? Hindi pwede ang hearsay. But a dying declaration, as the term implies, malapit ng mamatay at may binanggit siya, can be admitted as evidence provided the following elements occur. One, the declaration concerns the cause and the surrounding circumstances of the declarant's death. If I was shot, no, o nasaksak ako sa puso at may taong pumunta sa akin, natulungan ako at nasabi ko, si Juan ang sumaksak sa akin, si Juan ang bumaril sa akin, and later on I die, then the person who helped me can testify in my behalf. Does he have personal knowledge of the crime na si Juan ang sumaksak sa kanya? None. But it is an exception because it came from a dying victim who consequently died. No? So dapat, no, another element is it must be made when death appears to be imminent and the declarant is under consciousness of an impending death. No? Pag ang victim ay nabaril lang sa paa at malayo no, sa death, then he cannot give a dying declaration, obviously. Malapit ka nang mamatay, ang paniwala mo, mamamatay ka na, then you can point to the person who caused the death or injury that you have. And uh, uh, another is uh, he would not have been competent to testify. Siyempre, namamatay ka na, hindi ka na makakapag-testify. That's another element. And if death occurs, then testimony will be offered by the person who heard it from the dying individual. Yun namang rest just is one arising out of a startling event, spontaneous, contemporaneous event. So, halimbawa, naglalakad ako sa session road at sinaksak ako and I shout to the world na si Juan sinaksak ako, then that is what we call as rest, just stay. So, spontaneous remarks are considered rest geste. Uh, again, these utterances are admissible in court as an exception to the hearsay rule as held in People versus Gatarin ng Corte Suprema.